Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer sent all the way from Germany. Joe from Germany, Joe Hal 67 sent me this beer. That's his uh, YouTube channel. And it's Erdinger Levis. I think it might be Levis or, or something along them lines. I do apologise for my pronunciation on this. Let the beer focus. While it's focusing on the label, I wanted to talk about Erdinger in general because Joe mentioned they they made so much beer and the Germans kind of started classing them. There you go. Let's get this cap focused. The Germans were classing them as kind of a mass-produced beer in the end. They, they, they didn't keep the recognition um, that they should have done. This, Joe is claiming, is a return to form. This is a return to how they used to brew beers. Um, they put a lot of effort into this. It's apparently fun. It's a really good, really good beer. I'll be using the Hefeweizen glass that, that he sent me on the review. So, Let's get it open. It will be my first Erdinger, or some people call them Ed Banger. <laughs> it should be my well. It will be my first Erdinger beer. Now I've enjoyed every single beer that Joe sent me so far. He sent me, I think he sent me five or six beers. They've all been quaffable. They've all been thirst quenchers. They've all been extremely tasty, especially that smoked beer. That smoked beer is unreal. Right. With a big hit of carbonation to begin with, it's quietly calming down. This beer, I can see the, the, the bottle, is, it is a natural kind of cloudy beer. I'm really enjoying the glass. The, the, the glass just gives it that extra air of quality to the beer. Um, I, don't, I, I really don't know the history of, of this brewery. I've seen them in British supermarkets. Not seen this one, but Joe was telling me that, um, as I just mentioned, that they were, they were banging out the beers and the quality dropped wasn't the same the regular drinkers started complaining that it, it just wasn't up to scratch anymore but as he says this is a right bang up they, they've knocked the quality straight back to where it used to be and it's a return to form that's what I'm looking for it's a return to form um, I'm gonna have to get into this beer now it's got a, a large classic German head Forefinger, slightly hazy, which I do like. I do like a hazy beer. I, I do like this style. The, the carbonation's climbing up the glass very, very nicely. It's golden in colour. It looks a little bit like a wheat beer. Might work very well be a wheat beer. I just can't read German, unfortunately. So let's get the aroma. Oh wow, that's spicy. Hints of banana from the wheat. Oh, and that, wow, that, that is touching the spot. I have to get into this beer. Cheers, Joe. Cheers, everybody else, for watching. Oh. Oh, stone the crows! Stone the crows! That is that is lovely. That is the yeast. The yeast they're using in this to brew this beer is is something else. It gives off a natural kind of spicy banana 
taste. I need to separate. I, I need to separate the flavors. What I'm getting first and second and so forth. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. First hit is definitely banana. Definite big big punch of banana. That comes naturally from the yeast. Oh, it's it's very very pleasant, very 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 pleasant. It then gets sweeped away by a nice spicy hints of of coriander and clove, but very very gentle. It's it's not heavy clove and it's not heavy coriander. Let's see if this beer is bottle conditioned. Let's see if we can... I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it is. Doesn't look bottle conditioned. But every beer that Joe... Well, Joe from Germany watches a lot. He watches a lot of my beer reviews. Um, and he's chosen these beers very, very carefully. I've got two left to do. I've enjoyed every one, and each one's been a bit of a different experience. What would I class this as? I think this is a kind of a. Uh, I'm going to guess that this is it, it's a classic Hefeweizen. Let me know in the comments box if I'm right, if I'm wrong. Um, could very well be a German wheat beer. I I I go for a. I'm gonna go for a Hefeweizen with this. I'm gonna take a guess at the Hefeweizen. He did send me tasting notes, a big sheet of tasting notes, but I think I think it, I've misplaced it somewhere. So, but it's a cross. I think it's either it's gonna be either a wheat beer. A classic German wheat beer or a Hefeweizen. Oh. That is so refreshing. It is so refreshing. Wow, give me another look at the bottle. Oh, I'm going to give you the ABV. The ABV is 5.2% ABV. It's in a 500 centiliter or 500 ml bottle. Uh, I'll attempt to find your website. <coughs> Pardon me. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, no, no website, unfortunately. But in German, it's got Wies beer. Wies beer, Kulter, see it, 1886. So they must have, this brewery must have started in 1886. So Wies beer is a wheat beer. So I was, you know, nearly there, nearly there, taking a wild swing at things. Erdinger Wiesbrau. No website, unfortunately, but. What a beer, what a beer. Rating, time for a rating. <coughs> the Ranch beer, I think I'd give it, I, I, I think I rated that very, I, I think I'd give that an eight. Eight out of ten. That was fantastic. That was really good. That was something completely different from what from anything I've ever tried before. This is like another one of the bananary wheat beers he sent, the Hefeweizen. St. Georgian white Hefeweizen, I think he sent me. That was lovely. This has got 
I'm finding it's got a bit more flavour. I'm really enjoying it. I think I give the the bacon smoked uh, raw orange beer, I think I give that an 8. And I'm struggling. I'm struggling to... That that was still the top beer. But I'm going to join that on, on an 8. 8 out of 10. I'm going to join... The Erdinger, that was, it was it was good, but in its own different way. You'll have to excuse me, I'm struggling a little bit, because German beer is a brand new style for me. I think when you're reviewing a beer, you've got to look at the beer in a different light. You've got to put each style in its own different basket. Even if it's just a brown ale, you've got to you've got to review it as a brown ale. So it, it's 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 an experience to be able to try all these different beers and give them. I give a rating scale out of ten, so it's kind of. I want to give it a nine. I've given it an eight, but I want to give it a nine. It really is that good. It really is that good. But I'll stick with the eight. It's not making a lot of sense here. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Email me at realaleguide at googlemail.com. Facebook is facebook.com forward slash realalecraftbeer. And Twitter is twitter.com forward slash realaletoday. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like. I love your comments in the YouTube section. I'll always answer. Cheers.